MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So I'm standing here in front of a Europa Miltec 2000 machine. This is a manual tool room milling machine and it's fair to say that every machine shop in the country should have one of these. Now these are supplied by RK International in the UK and if we take a closer look at the machine and the options that are available, the first thing to mention is you can have this machine either as a, this is a manual machine but this has got a DRO. Now this DRO enables you to position either two axes or three axes to an exact coordinate. Now the X and the Y axis comes as a two axis machine and then you can opt for a third axis which would be the Z axis which can either be the knee, so you're moving the knee of the machine up and down or on the quill. Now on this particular model we also have a Millstar. That in itself acts as a positioning coordinate measurement system. So essentially if your z-axis was on the knee of the machine you could use the mill star to position or to find out your position or to drill to a depth on the quill. So it would give you four areas where you've got coordinate measuring. Now why would you go for a, a Europa machine or this machine compared to other machines that are available in the market? Now first thing is the, the build of the machine. They're a heavy duty machine, you either get the 2000 or the 5000 and this particular model is the 2000 which gives you 1244 by 230 in, time, in terms of the table size. The machine itself is a cast base and I'm now going to talk to one of the students here at Lee Academy where we're looking at the machine and he's going to tell us a little bit more about how to operate it and how it works. So Jax, you've had hands-on experience here with these machines. I obviously know about machine tools, but I think yeah. for our viewers' perspective, it'd be good for them just to see how it operates or how to operate it. Yeah, um, as a student, learning about these machines is definitely uh, a task to need to know. Uh, so obviously when we've started, we've started with learning how to change just the basic tool posts and just all the basic equipment, just so you learn how to use it and function it for when we go into more detail during like coursework. Yeah. Uh, we just get a wrench and undo at the top, a uh, big bolt, and then you just pull out the tool bit and then you put the new one in and you tighten it up at the top. Okay. Um, then, then the machine, you obviously you change the speeds up here. Um, Is that simple as just turning the, uh, turning the handles there? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty much the same. Just turn the handles and it'll change the speeds that, that you need. Okay. And uh, moving down, this gauge will give you precise accuracy so that you can, only, you can only drill down so far without going too far in. So if you wanted to go three mil, you can go three mil. If you wanted to go 10 mil, you can go 10 mil. So, so when it gets to 10 mil, it will it'll just... It'll cut off, yeah. Okay. Um, moving uh, moving down again, you've got the movable truck, so you can move it from the left to the right side of the bed. Yep. You can remove it and change it with different kinds of trucks, yep. uh, four jaws, trucks, anything uh, like using on a centre move. Yep. Um, along here you've got the rapid switch, so you can speed up the movement of the bed and the saddle when it moves, uh, left and right. Then you've got obviously your manual handle, so it gives you more precise accuracy when you're using it. Uh, so you just push it in and you can turn the bed. And you've got that for the x-axis and the y-axis. Y um, then on the, for the z-axis, you've got this, which will move the bed up and down. Uh, you want to make sure you disengage the clip so it comes off when you're doing it, so it doesn't move the bed while you're working. Okay. And then you've got all your controls for switching, um, turn the machine on, turn it off, yeah. uh, emergency uh, stop switch, and then auto moving the bed. And what about, is that a, a, some kind of locking device to lock the... the uh, yeah, using these will lock the saddle in place, yeah. therefore it won't move when you're working on a piece, if you want to keep the piece solid in one position. These are quite handy to make sure that if you do knock or you have somebody else around you and they do accidentally knock the, the, uh, the dials... It's not going to affect the work. It won't work, yeah. It won't damage your work, it can't cause any uh, problem with the instruments, at the tool posts, everything will stay in its place and then you can just quickly turn the machine off and just check to make sure everything, everything's okay, it's all safe to start again. Okay. Again, the guard will stop the machine from turning on and off, uh, so when you go open, it won't turn on at all, right. for safety purposes. And then we've got the DRO there, which is to, uh, to give you point of reference for the Z, yeah. the X and the Y axis. I prefer to use it like that rather than use all the manual gauges, because I believe it gives you more precise accuracy. Uh, as learning, I learned just to use the manual gauges, but when I did move on to using these screens and automated gauges, it gives you more precise accuracy. It lets you look at the work 
and the screen at the same time. So you can see what you're doing rather than just look down and be looking down continuously. You can stop a hazard or a problem occurring before the situation starts. So that's what I find is quite a handy tool to have on any machine. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Jax. No, thank you. Okay. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.